welcome to episode 72 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Wrexham! Now then, we are at the 5th of December 2028, top of the Premier League, and we're good for it as well. This is not a fluke. My boys are playing some fabulous football. Alan Richards up to 79 overall after moving to central midfield. Zviro Van Dintren's going to right wing. We've got some new hairstyles. I don't know how much Zviro Van Dintren's vision is going to be impaired, to be honest. Everybody looks fresh, apart from Tobias Tanner, who's had a bit of a rough one on the bench, watching the far better Gary Kinsey take his place. Mm, should I really say far? It's a pretty tight contest between them. Tanner's got him beat on penalties. Everything else else I'd rather have Gary Kinsey in the net. So this is Everton. They are unbeaten in their last five. Congratulations to them. Wing play football. I am not worried about them whatsoever because we play really well against wing play teams. New changes in the team rotation will be vital for the upcoming weeks. Everton against Wrexham. Right, normally this isn't a talking point on Youth Squad Legends. Beside me, I always have a drink. Sometimes fizzy, sometimes flat. Whatever gets me through a recording. Today, I've got a can of Tizer. This was awesome when I was a kid. Not anymore. It's absolutely vile. Ugh. But it's the only thing fizzy I've got in the house. Sean Dyche has nothing on the Jang Sung Chan style of play. I'm already seeing League Two teams adopt it. Oh, Jang Sung Chan's influence on English football is unprecedented. And this comes from the tactical mastermind that started adopting the 4 2 4 well over a decade ago. Now I'm seeing it as the new in thing for pressing teams in the Premier League. Bro, I've been on that hype train for years. Jinkaradze might set up Ioka. Alan Richards, through ball. No one's marking Maka. And when no one marks Maka, you are in trouble. It's 1-0. Uh, that's right. My boy's back in business. Been a long, dry spell. Go on, Kinsey. Get on that. Premier League's absolutely beckoning for us. Oh, that's a really loose touch. Macra has latched onto it. There could be a second. He's pushed wide. Gersbeck with the save. Fantastic, though, by Bentz. How about we get more goals so we don't have to defend as hard? Ricky's got away from our central midfielders. Wants to take it into the box. Well blocked by Mizijan. I think Barakat should have maybe blocked that, but Kinsey's there with 0.60 reaction time. Presumably that's in seconds. Nah, man, milliseconds. He's like a fly. Uh, uh, uh. If it doesn't work at Man United, I can totally see Everton signing up Mateus De Ligt in like three years' time. That's where the pathway could go on the playoff. Nice pass inside, but Kinsey, he's there. He's alert. What a lad. Bear in mind that the keeper's only 74 overall, and he's the baby of this team, bless him. His decision-making is spot on. These are easily the best formation slash tactics that that we've devised 12 years of doing this this is peak youth squad legends but it has been opened up there by everton an equalizer just before half time makes it at least tasty for the second half ben's has drifted off to the left and we can just feed it into feeney with a great first touch looks there but chillwell is in the right place on the line from the corner. Here's the Oka into Feeney, the aerial plus. Making him fly high, but the header is not on target. Cameraman's in severe trouble. That'll be picked off by Alan Richards, but he doesn't have the time to let it go with a forward pass. Christian probably onside, bearing down on the goalkeeper. That's on target. Everton have a surprising lead. All right, more changes. Here comes Lestoza. Danny Bins and Spencer Neal on as well. Lever has been so disappointing. Has it all gone a bit sour for the boys in red? What a ball that is! Samaharu, finish that! <sighs> Mate, you don't get deliveries like that often. Here's Victor Lestoza in midfield. He floats out to Cesarini. It's taken a long old time for the passing to be this slick for Wrexham. But we're finally here. Oh, we must enjoy it even when... We're down. We shouldn't be losing to Everton. 
so confident, stroking this ball about. It's another excellent find. It's Fintilus Stoza to equalise. The shoe's on the other foot. Come on. Got to get the ball back. Our tight Barakat with a tough tackle. Bench Macker on it. Here's Lestoza. Run. Stretch those legs. Zviro. He's going. It's Feeney. Could this be a big win at the end? No. The shot is slightly scuffed. We're hoping on some big at a time now. Well done, Danny Bins. Bench Maka into Tomaharu. Feeney turns. Lestoza heavy touch. Three out of minutes. Oh, full time. It's two points dropped. Silver lining is that we've got this really nice undefeated streak going. Continue that through the season. We'll be there or thereabouts. I know that our attacking output, our goal output is way better, but we still need to score more. A little bit more of this ties, right? <laughs> Bloody hell. Not the end of the world. Look at Brentford in third. Fair play. We're going to ditch some of the sharpness to try and get everybody match fit for the weekend. I don't want to say it, but there is a bit of a disparity emerging between your R-type Barricats and then your first team centre-backs like Mizijan Solar Bins. Leaps and bounds ahead. Leva is not in the same category of left-back. We've got to have the players that I can trust wholeheartedly. On the field, basically forever. Come on, this looks like it's going to be an easy one. We have dealt with Southampton so many times. Yes, Corona is a weapon up front. Camel Dean is a really good player as well. But they aren't in winning form. They're 17th place. It's another wing play tactic. Do they all play wing play here? Is that just what the Premier League is? Get on it. Lestoza hat trick. I'm calling it. We're like a different football team from 12 months ago. We could beat these guys in the championship. Surely we can beat them now in the Premier League. They seem to have stagnated, not really signed anyone of notes. Unless maybe Yanazai has got really good in this save. It's Bench Maka! Oh, and he's belted it on the crossbar. Finishing training, mate. What a pass from Sorin Dari! Victor Estosa does not miss! 1-0 Rexham! All about the pass made from the big Romanian. It will look beautiful on the instant replay. A Megs weighted to perfection. Go on, Mizijan. Catch him up. He's got help from Sola. It's Corona against the world. Much like it was in 2020. <laughs> Come on, I have standards. That's not the right joke to make. Also, how on earth is that a penalty? Kinsey! Well, dives that way, but gets nowhere near it. Got time, plenty of time here. Mizzage and floats one. Lestoza oh, can't find Bench. It's all there for us. Pressing's good. Well done, Sorin. Feeney don't really know where to go here. Lestoza tries to chip it back. Mack has done well to win it. Dory just taking a little bit too long on the volley. It opens up every time we have the ball. Jeez, he's quick as well. It's end to end. There's Corona and the script has been flipped on its head. I think we need more speed in defence for the second half. Golden Sokko, do not shoot that. Let it be Tomohari Yoku who gets slightly lucky. It's gone through the goalie's legs. It's 2-2. Really smart play there by Golden Sokko. I'm sure he was eyeing up some of the headlines himself. Speed. No, don't dive in like that. You've got to be really careful on Keone Sola. I mean, somehow Kinsey sits on it. That could have been embarrassing. Cesarini's got 85 pace. Sola's got 77. Mizijan, 81. Richard, surprisingly, 79 pace. So if we can change Sola for Danny Bins, which seems a bit mad, I know. Maybe this is where Lever comes good at 90 pace. That should stop the quick breaks from Southampton. <laughs> Off you go, Victor Lestoza, power through my friend. Quick passing, I love it. Can Lestoza take control? Oh, it's a penalty, has to be, has to be a penalty. Get him booked. Kyle Walker Peters, that is filth. Pick this one out, Lestoza's never missed. Bang! I almost forgot that I made a chant up for Victor Lestoza. His name is Victor, Victor Lestoza. The greatest player from Brasilia. 
His name is Victor. Victor Lestoza. Football's a lesson with him in possession. He is Victor. Wrexham fell in love. Why are you giving a yellow card to Danny Pins? He's not at fault for the pitch deteriorating before our very eyes. Oh, it's Ben Smacker. Pickpocket. Banger. Oh, mate, get on the training ground. Yeah, the more pacey defence really has killed Southampton. Well out, Sano. Three added minutes on the board and nearly done for. I think we've done quite well with all considered. The obvious visual glitches don't help whatsoever. That's Wrexham 3, Southampton 2. And the missus is going to be displeased because she's a Saints fan. Wah, wah, wah. Ties up. Mmm, mmm. Mm. It's like it's peeling away my insides very slowly. West Ham are not doing too well. They've got 15 points and are in 15th place with a goal difference of minus nine. Poor old Burnley have got a minus 24 goal difference already. Whoa, hang on, hang on. West Ham are not playing wing play. We might have something different here. Let's hope that's not the case. It's the Hammers against the Red Dragons. Right, this doesn't seem like the correct camera angle. Feels far too low. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. West Ham already had this massive chance. Good save by Kinsey. And Lewis Hall has just smashed it in edge of the box. I can't really say much there. I think it's all about the camera angle. It's put me off massively. And I see that that West Ham shirt incorporates some bubbles in it. Well, nice. You bubble blowing bombs. <laughs> Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Skibbity toilet, maca fanum tax my riz, big yet Ohio. I hope I have bleach so I can cure both my eyes from what I've just read. For anybody who wanted to see my camera settings and just somehow haven't yet, here we go. Don't know why my ball tracking speed is that low. I can up it a little bit. High, maybe like a seven or eight for this game. Feel like that's about right. Proof will be in the pudding. Can we get it down and play football? We are still struggling here. Might also be the surprise of not playing a wing play team. Amazing save, Gary Kinsey. Keone Sola lifts it in. Jinkaradze will win that. Ben Smacker on the volley. Here's Tom Harioka. He's wide. Alvarez. I wanted a slide tackle there. Could have easily been pulled up for a potential penalty. Referees ignored that. Just need to survive up until half time. It's an interception by Ioka that might get us there. Could have played Dari through. Mizijan on a stretch. And Kinsey smashes out. We need this half time break. We need to regroup. And think about other options. Eight to say, but Solar's lack of speed is getting a bit shown up today. Even a draw in these circumstances would be a good result, I feel. Alex Feeney showing pretty elite agility. Oh, it's Van Dinseren! Yes, mate! You don't need any vision. The hairstyle doesn't get in the way when you're shooting without looking. Your final attack of the game is coming from West Ham, so it has to be a draw. Kinsey makes a vital save. You've got to take it from the start that we had. Wasn't really our fault that. Zviro van Dinsren, you come in, you do a job. Cannot complain. For now, that's probably us knocked off top spot. But I won't mind one bit. Play it smart here, guys. We've got six days rest. Then a home match against Nottingham Forest. But then there's a short turnaround for Arsenal away. It's like treading on eggshells. That Nottingham Forest attack is outrageous. They play counter-attacking football. Only losing one of the last five games. Seems like I've been mismanaging Con Hunter a little bit. He's got no sharpness. Everybody else looks fine. It's a weird lineup. I can't lie. I'm worried about the next game. Wrexham against Forest. It's a monumental game in the career of Tomoharu Ioka. Playing central attack in midfield. Trusted to make the chances happen. Ioka to Justin Bernard. I want to get inside with Jin Karadze, but no doubt he would get intercepted. Ioka into Zviro van Dinteren. This might be an opportunity. And Zviro keeps on producing. Massive finish. Oh, we need it. We need it today. We can't bring on the big lads. They have to rest up for Arsenal. This is danger. Kapai's got the ball. And he just burned 
Solomon with one touch, even if he doesn't score, you can bet that someone else does. That's Mighton, Nottingham Forest, showing and flexing their muscles, the capabilities of easily scoring goals here. It's scary. I think if we are to do anything positive here, we need to score a minimum of three goals. Feeney drops it off to Jin Karadze. Van Dinteren is onside. Can't squeeze it. There's Feeney. A bit of luck for Nottingham Forest. A bit of luck for us. Swings and roundabouts. Honestly, I don't know why Jang Sung Chan is near a tactics board. All we need to do is drop back. Don't let Gapai that much space in behind. Bike definitely not playing as a bike at the moment. <laughs> Oh my word, what a goal. Oh, he's connected with that one. I can't really defend that any better. It, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yep, definitely need to score that third goal to get the win. I'm sweating it out here. Spencer Neal's just dug out a clearance. Got the distance on the ball. Mizijan standing tackle. Jin Karadze hit and hope. Sorindari with the chest control and he's helped out by Tom Horioka. We're gonna have to play it back. Bernard, where are we going here? Lever ain't shooting. We just can't pass it as fluidly as what we do in the first team. Such a small margin of error. And we've got to make use of this. Alan Richards has done well. Pressing is his game. Jin Karadze lifts it over the goalkeeper. It's huge. Go on, Wrexham. For a player that's already getting a stigma attached that he can't finish, that was pretty clean. Kapai gets close, but not close enough. Mighton has been mighty today. I've thrown both centre-backs at it, but it's no use. Kapai misses. We've been let off the hook. This is a huge result because it gives us that advantage against Arsenal. We've not used Lestoza or Maka and won here by three goals to two. I think when you look back at this Premier League season as a whole, it'll be that game that made us champions. So we'll meet again on Boxing Day. Here are the standings. Wrexham still top nearly halfway through the season. 39 points to our name. So we're on course right now to get around 80-ish points. But I feel like second half of the season, some of these teams will start going on really silly unbeaten runs and we've got to match that this has been cutsy thank you ever so much for watching this episode of youth squad legends if you've enjoyed it please give the video a like if you're not subscribed around here yet then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications big thanks to everybody supporting me financially on patreon you guys are legends it wasn't maximum points today but i think some of the results were way more important than wins. The West Ham draw with the camera issue at the start, pretty significant. All right, you guys take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. Mmm, I've still got some really warm Tizer left. Let's drink it. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh.